for this video, we're gonna be discussing the graphing of secant and cosecant functions. So, umpisahan natin sa cosecant function. We already know that cosecant function is equivalent to the reciprocal of sine function. Let's have the graph of our cosecant function. So, dito makikita natin yung graph din ng sine function na nagsisilbing guide in graphing the cosecant function. So, the rule for our cosecant function is similar to the rule in our sine function. If our sine function has a period of 2 pi, our cosine function also have this period, the period of 2 pi. So, here, everywhere the sine function touches the x-axis, there is a vertical asymptote. So, let's start from left to right. So, ito yung curve natin, yung ng sine function. So, it touches 0. So, here is the vertical asymptote. Then, going up to the maximum value of y, which is 1. Then, going down again, touching the pi. So, here is the vertical asymptote. Then, going down to the minimum value of y. Then, going up again, touching our 2 pi. And here is the vertical asymptote and so on. And from here, we can tell the domain, which is x is not equal to n pi where n is the set of integers. So, ano-ano ba yung mga integers? So, these are the positive and the negative numbers that we can see in the number line. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, including 0, then negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. If we're going to substitute the values of n, let's say, for example, 0. So, we have 0. If we have 0 sign, the value is 0. So, 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So, it makes our cosecant function undefined. So, this is one of the restrictions. If n is 1, so we have pi. Sine pi is also 0, and it makes our cosecant function undefined. So, this is one of the restrictions also. And so on, all of the integers that we can find in the number line are the restrictions in this cosecant function. Now, let's talk about the range of our cosecant function. So, dito hindi natin masasabi na values na ito ng ating y because we don't have the graph here of, of our cosecant function. So, itong curve na ito at saka itong curve na ito lamang. So, let's start with this. So, this curve goes all the way down to negative infinity. Okay, so from negative infinity up to the minimum value of y which is negative 1. That's why we have this range. Then this curve, from positive 1, going up to the positive infinity. So here it is. So including 1 and including negative 1. So the union of these two range is the range of this function. Then let's talk about the second function. So we already know that this is equal to the reciprocal of our cosine function. And let's have the graph of our secant function. And dito makikita din natin ang cosine function na nagsisilbing guide in graphing the secant function. Okay, so let's have the domain. Which is x is not equal to n pi over 2. Where n is the set of odd numbers. So ano-ano ba yung mga odd numbers? That is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. So here, if n is 1, so we have pi over 2. And in pi over 2, it touches or our cosine function touches the x-axis. And here, we have a vertical asymptote. One of the restrictions in our x. Or one of the restrictions of our uh, graph or function. Again, 3 pi over 2, also one of the restrictions. Then, 5 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, 9 pi over 2. Also, in negative part. So, negative pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2, negative 5 pi over 2. May mga vertical asymptotes tayo doon sa mga points na iyon ng ating cosine function. And for our range, the same lang naman sila ng range ng ating cosecant function. Because this curve and this curve, so from negative infinity up to the negative 1, and from 1 going to positive infinity. So let's have this again. So in our previous discussion or previous video, we already discussed the general equations in sine and cosine function. So if you want an in-depth discussion regarding the graphing of sine and cosine function, I will put the link down in the description box. So let's continue with this. 
we have y equals a secant of the quantity bx plus c plus d. So here, the absolute value of a is the amplitude of sine and cosine function dahil wala tayong amplitude for cos secant and secant function. So ito ay sa sine and cosine function lamang. B helps us to find the period. So in our previous discussion regarding the graphing of sine and cosine function, in getting the period, we have the formula P stands for the period is equal to 2 pi over B. B is the coefficient of our x. And C tells the presence of any horizontal and vertical phase shift. And D is the vertical shift. Example number 1. Y is equal to 3 second of the quantity 3x minus pi plus 6. Here we can easily determine the vertical shift. That is equivalent to 6. And we have the amplitude. So this amplitude is for the cosine function only which is equivalent to 3. For the period, we have the formula 2 pi over b, where b is the coefficient of x, and it is 3. So we have 2 pi over 3. For the starting point of the phase shift, in order to find that, we need to equate this part to 0. So we have 3x minus pi equals 0. Then find the value of x, which is pi over 3. Then after finding the starting point of the phase shift, we need to add our period. So we have pi over 3, this is the starting point of our phase shift, plus 2 pi over 3, this is our period. So this is equivalent to 3 pi over 3, or pi. Now let's have the graph. So dito makikita natin kung nasaan ang vertical shift. Nasa 6. At ito yung ating cosine function na nagsisilbing guide to graph our secant function. So from our center line, and we need to apply our amplitude which is 3. So 1, 2, 3. So yun yung magiging peak ng ating curve. Then pababa, ganun din. 1, 2, 3. Now for our phase shift, it starts at pi over 3 and it ends at pi. So, ito yung one complete cycle ng ating graph and happens again for another cycle. Now, let's talk about the domain. So, the domain is x is not equal to n pi over 6 where n is the set of odd numbers. So, why is it n pi over 6? Because we have pi over 2 and 5 pi over 6. Then if we're going to make it a similar fraction, it will be pi over 6 or n pi over 6. And if we're going to substitute the values of our n, which are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on, magiging undefined yung ating secant function dito. And meron tayong makikita na vertical asymptotes. And for the range, let's have first this graph. So obviously from the negative infinity up to positive 3. So we have this part. And the upper part, from 9, going up to the positive infinity. That's why this is our range. So including the 3 and 9. For the second example, we have cosecant of the quantity 2x minus pi over 2 minus 2. Our vertical shift here is negative 2. Our amplitude is 1. So amplitude is for the sine function only. The period is 2 pi over 2. Because b is equal to 2, or the coefficient of our x. This is also equivalent to pi. For the starting point of the phase shift, we need to equate this part to 0. So we have 2x minus pi over 2 equals 0, and x is equal to pi over 4. Then, after getting the starting point of the phase shift, we need to add our period. So we have pi over 4 plus pi that is equivalent to 5 pi over 4. So let's take a look at our graph. So dito makikita natin yung ating sine function. So ang vertical shift natin ay nasa negative 2. Then the amplitude is 1. So yung sine function natin ay nagsisilbing guide to graph our cosecant function. Our phase shift starts at pi over 4 and it ends at 5 pi over so here we can say that domain is x 
is not equal to n pi over 4, where n is the set of odd numbers. So, kagaya nung nasa example number 1 natin. But yung example number 1 natin is n pi over 6. So, here naman, n pi over 4. And for the range, we have this. So, from negative infinity up to the negative 3. So, including negative 3. Then, this one, from negative 1, going to the positive infinity. And this ends our video. So, if you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.